What is up, guys? This is Logan from Geeks of the West. We have all worked retail. At least a lot of us have. I want to say almost half of us, if not most of us, have worked some sort of customer service or retail environment. A lot of us still do. I still do. I'm only 18 going on 19 in a couple days or so, depending on when you watch this or when it's uploaded. <laughs> uh, my birthday's in December. Just get that out of the way. Um, yeah, so a lot of people work retail. Look, some people who work retail, it's not intentional. They just get stuck in retail. Or they believe they figure out a way to sort of work their way up or make the most money in retail customer service environment. Or some people are just built to thrive in the retail customer service environment. However, no matter what situation it is, or what reason you're in retail, you will have experiences that you get to talk about with all of your friends because that's just the way retail and customer service is, is you get these awesome, awesome stories <laughs> of, you know, customers just doing stupid shit, somebody getting mad at you for the most ridiculous reason that you could possibly think of. I have two stories I want to talk to you about today of customers getting absolutely butthurt over nothing and why I personally hate retail. So I want to say I started out as a cart pusher, a courtesy clerk as they call it. I am now currently a cashier. I work um, what we call the self checkout station and I also work the customer service desk with some cart pushing shifts involved because I told my manager, I was like, hey, you know. I hate customer service. I hate the customer service desk. I hate cashiering. I hate doing self checkout. Well, uh, you know, I, I I like doing self checkout more than any other thing. But anyway, I was telling her, you know, I hate all of this stuff, and I really like pushing cards. She's like, yeah, well, you know, you make more money and you get raises as a cashier. I was like, ah, but you know, I just I really hate it. And you know, I, after about a year, she finally got this. She he, my manager, finally got this thing set up to where I get to push a lot more cards and I'm cross trained so she's gonna use me for everything which I'm basically a store's bitch but she's awesome because she gave me what I wanted while making more money so there is that situation um nonetheless though I was working it was my no yeah so it was my first month as a cashier so I was still new you know I was a little shy still and I was learning all these new policies and shit and I was not efficient whatsoever, which is the way all new cashiers are. Look, we're not efficient. We don't know everything. So you gotta give us a break. Now I'm efficient as fuck, and I'll tell you how it is, and I will argue with customers, because the customer is not always right. Anyway, nonetheless, it's the morning. I opened. I believe I was the only cashier at the time. I was doing somebody else's break. I was doing the opener's break. So I was the only cashier there at the the moment okay and you know there's this guy that comes to my line asking what I was doing you know he's doing good thing is red flag he's you know there, his, his, he, he's um stuck in like chronic bitch face mode right now and you know there's a lot of guys that are like that he has these glasses on these like sunglasses and he's just staring off into space thinking he's badass or he's too cool to talk to me or something he barely answers my question when I ask him how he's doing which is what I'm supposed to do to every single customer hey how you doing you know how's your day going did you find everything okay alright cool you know um and then make conversation with them this dude was way too cool to make conversation with me way too cool to reply to me because I was working retail so he was above me and he has that monotone, like, yeah, whatever, kind of voice, you know? Like, hey, how you doing? Good. Oh, yeah, did you find everything? Okay. Yeah, I guess. And then that's it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, red flag right off the bat. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. I'll just bring this guy's groceries up, get him out of here, and don't have to deal with him ever again. Bring his groceries up. And, you know, a lot of stores have these club cards or whatnot that uh, allow you to get sale prices and discounts. Okay. So, at the end of the transaction, I'm like, do you have a club card? He was like, no, but do you have one that you can scan in? I cannot scan mine because, listen, I get discounts on my card. I get employee discounts, okay? And with the club card at the store that I work at, you don't get discounts. Look, you get sale prices with or without the discount card, okay? With or without the discount card. You don't need 
the club card for discounts. Sell prices will come up no matter what. He's like, no, do you have one scam? Like, no, I can't scam it for you. He's like, what? That is fucking bullshit. And that was like the most emotion he gave me. That entire fucking three minute transaction of me bringing up all his groceries. And I look at him like, Jesus Christ. And this was when I was a new cashier. So I didn't want to argue back. I was like shy as hell. You know, social anxiety. I didn't want to fucking talk to him or start an argument with him. He kind of fucking scared the shit out of me. I was like, seriously? What the hell? And he's like, you can't give me a courtesy scan or anything? And I was like, um, no, I can't scan mine at all. And at the time, we have a reward, um, God, what are they called? We have club card applications, you know, that you can sign, or that you can fill out the application. And we can scan the card and get you your points and whatnot. But I wasn't thinking about that, because I didn't think it was anything special. Like, what the fuck is the point of getting a courtesy scan if you're not going to use the rewards card if there's no fucking discounts in the first place? And he looks at me and he's like, so you're going to rip me off out of all these deals just because I don't have a rewards card. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't scan my rewards card. And at the time, you know, I wasn't thinking about, you know, telling him that it doesn't come with discounts. You get the sale prices no matter what. Because I was scared and I was a new cashier. So what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he's pissed off. He's like, can I speak to a manager right now? I'm like, okay, Jesus. So I call my manager. Manager comes up and he's like, I would like a courtesy scan, please. So, and this is a manager that I'm not really fond of, or a PIC that I'm not fond of. Okay. I'm not fond of this PIC. You know, she does not defend her employees whatsoever. She will not be stern to a customer who's being a jackass. See, my manager, and I think there's one or two PICs I can think of that will be stern to a customer who is being a jackass to the um to the to the fucking cashiers to the associates like listen this is how it is that's how it's gonna be don't talk to my cashiers that way take it or leave it and which is the way i think every manager should be is look you don't fucking sit there and just take shit from a customer just because you're afraid of not making a sale or because you're afraid of a fucking customer complaint anyway she takes this application right she scans the card and the guy looks at me he's like oh now was that so hard that wasn't so hard was it that wasn't so hard huh was that so hard and thing is, is he repeats that, that like 50 fucking times for the fucking minute that his, uh, you know, debit card, or he slides his card, you know, puts it through, and while that's, you know, that whole thing is, um, processing, while the transaction is processing, he is doing that over and over again, just being a complete fucking jackass, not stopping, my PIC is standing at the uh, end of the check stand, not doing anything, just looking at me, trying to see how I'm going to respond. And if it was any other PIC, I would have been like, you know, you're fucking jackass. At least now I would. I'd be like, dude, you're fucking jackass. <laughs> um, but yeah. And he was just being a complete jackass. Like, he was pissed off, and he was mocking me. He was being a jackass, trying to feel all badass. And the thing is, I'm not a very tall guy. I'm not short. But I'm not tall at all. I'm built big. Like, my shoulders are big. I have some muscle on me. I have a little bit of fat on me. I have some fat on me. I've been eating a lot lately. Um, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big guy. I played football at nose guard, and I wrestled in the uh, 195, 220, 245, 225, whatever. No, uh, 195, 205, and 225 category. I wrestled all of those. So I was under... Two of, uh, no, I was under 195. I was 195. And you're allowed to wrestle weight classes above your actual weight. You just can't go under your actual weight. So, whatever. Um, so, I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm pretty built. But I'm not very tall. And this guy was, you know, thinking that he was intimidating because he was like six foot two. You know what I mean? And that just really bothers me. Like, I am not afraid of anybody who's over fucking six foot. Okay? I fucking... They're not scary. The only wrestling match that I actually lost was against a kid who was shorter than me, okay, by an inch. And he would be considered fucking short, okay? He'd be considered a little manlet. So, no, fucking tall guys don't scare me at all. But I was scared because I was a new cashier. You know, yeah, so that guy was just a complete jackass over a club card that wasn't going to get him discounts anyway. And my PIC, of course, who was no help at all, just fucking went into it and scanned the thing for him instead of explaining, sorry, our club cards um, don't give you discounts. You get the sale prices already. So um, I'm sorry. That's it for you. The you know the courtesy scan will do nothing, but I can still scan it for you anyway, and maybe you can have it if you ever shop at another, for, or another, another store. And every other PIC would have done that, but she didn't. Yeah, whatever.
Next story. So, I was at the customer service desk. This was like my second shift up there. And the customer service desk is probably the scariest thing you can do in retail. Other than like, you know, management and then, you know, whatever position comes above. Because at the customer service desk, you are responsible for so much. You know, there's Western Unions, money orders, you know, a bunch, just a bunch of shit that, you know, people could fraud you over and that you can get fired over. You can get fired over so much. You got people from, you know, store, uh, other parts of the store calling you, trying to figure out how to do something. Like, you're, you're the fucking throne, man. You are the fucking throne of every department in there. Uh, this customer comes up to me. We sell stamps at our store, but we only sell uh, sheet stamps. And listen, I can't... A lot of customers think that we can just, you know, if something's not scanning or if we want to sell something, we just put in a price and then total it. Like, that's not how it works. We need to know what we're selling, how much of it we sell. We can't just put in a fucking price and then sell it to you. They don't understand that. They're like, oh, no, you can't just put in a price and just whatever when I'm calling a department for a fucking can of fucking chili with the barcode ripped off. Like, no, sorry, I can't fucking do that, and this is the only can of chili you bought of this fucking brand, of this fucking size, of this fucking kind. This is how we take our inventory. Like, well, that's stupid. You know, back in the day, you know, we just bring up the price and whatnot, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, back in the day, your stores were 50 times smaller, you dumb piece of shit. None the less, none the fucking less. Um, so I'm doing my thing, you know. At the customer service desk and everything, this lady comes up. She was like, I would like, she's holding a $5 bill. I would like to buy one stamp. And a sheet of stamps, I understand why people get a little upset. A sheet of stamps is about $9.80. And you get, you get several stamps. Not just like one fucking stamp or just five stamps. You get a whole sheet of stamps, right? About the size of your hand. Or give or take about the size of a dollar bill full of stamps and I explained to her sorry we don't sell individual individual stamps we only sell uh, sheet stamps and then sh her face just fucking she gets pissed off and you know that thing when people like I don't know they like point at you or whatever or they like like claw you or whatever like they don't actually claw you or touch you physically but it looks like they like point at you but they're like clawing at you like they're pissed off for some reason like you know like I don't know how to explain it. You, so you, you piss somebody off, and then they, like, claw at you. And then they walk away, like, they're pissed off, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but she, like, clawed at me. It was weird. So, you know, she comes up to me. I would like to buy one stamp, please. And I was like, sorry, unfortunately. Here's the exact conversation. She comes up to me. I'm standing there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'd like to buy one stamp. Um... Unfortunately, we don't sell individual stamps. We only sell the sheet stamps. You would have to go to a post office or a bank to get individual stamps. And then she looks at me. She's like, well, fine. I'll just go somewhere else. And then she claws at me or, like, points at me. Like, she's pissed off. Like, she's going to kill me. Like, she either claws at me or she points at me, like, you know, like, condemning me or some shit with her money in her hand. She's like, whatever. And then she fucking storms off. And I hear her cussing up a storm, talking shit to her daughter about me. Whatever, and a daughter laughs, you know, they think they're above me or something. Even though they look like they get fucking $20,000 from welfare and then another 20000 from fucking food stamps. You know, every year annually and shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They look like they have less money than I do working at a fucking retail store. You know what I'm saying? And she just gets really fucking pissed off and shit. And I can just see her face turns red and she's about ready to fucking hop over that and claw my face off. Not just like the motion of clawing, you know? But like pointing at me and shit, you know, trying to condemn me, cast some spell on me. And it pissed me off because her daughter was fucking younger than I was. You know, like 16, 14 years old and she's sitting there talking shit and her daughter's laughing, talking shit about me too. Like, sorry, what did I do? Like, I don't think they understand. If I could fucking sell you something, if I was able to do something for you, I would do it instead of having you pissed off at me for no goddamn fucking reason whatsoever. It's like people don't understand that concept. Listen, if I... If I was fucking... If I was able to do something for you, I would fucking do it. If I was able to sell you a fucking individual fucking stamp... I would sell you an individual fucking stamp instead of telling you that fucking we only fucking sell a sheet of stamps. Instead of sending your fucking money, your business, your fucking money into my paycheck 
away to another environment instead of my fucking own. I wouldn't tell you to go somewhere else, fucking piece of shit. Like, I know these stories sound very mild at best, even below mild, but, like, I can't even do it justice to how fucking pissed off and how bad these situations actually were. No words can describe can describe it. I can't do it any justice. I can't even get across over, you know, uh, audio or even with, like, a visual if I had a camera. I just couldn't do it justice in explaining how pissed off these customers were this is geeks of the west signing out have a good one share me your retail customer service experience in the comment section below